All right, guys, so as you know, the Black Ops series always features Dark Ops Challenge titles. They are basically secret challenges within multiplayer that you can unlock to get some decent looking titles. I think the most common one is going to be the getting a 30 kills without dying, you know, the nuke title. There's also one for finishing free for all with no deaths and 30 kills. You know, some are going to be pretty challenging. But today I'm going to go over two that you can unlock, I'd say, pretty easy within the game. The first being from the depths and the second is called Underwater Ops. And first I'm going to be starting with the Underwater Ops, which is is while underwater plant c4 on an enemy occupied gunboat and detonate to destroy the vehicle and kill the occupant five times now i think the wake runners are the jet ski type vehicles in the game you're only going to see this on the armada playlist so for both of these challenges you are going to need to be jumping into combined arms and get in the armada boat playlist let me run you through the setup that you're going to need to even get this challenge primary and secondary just go with what you normally have the important thing here is going to be the lethals and the perks so for the tactical we're going to go with the stim shot just because you lose your breath underwater and you can of course die so stims makes you last a little bit longer underwater if you can't get that close to a boat and then secondary for the lethals of course we're going with the c4 and then next for the perks we've got engineer now engineer is going to be really vital for doing this challenge because with engineer you can see vehicles through maps so let's just say so any vehicle that an enemy is on a jet ski or you know the armed boat you know you're going to be able to see this through walls so you can get a rough idea of where the enemy actually is if they jump onto one uh perk two we are going with quartermaster which is recharge equipment over 25 seconds meaning we can basically have a limited supply of c4s you know we're going to constantly do it you start off with two and you're going to recharge one every 25 seconds so this is going to be really handy perk three is going to be ghosts so everyone's going to be using uavs in combined arms you know you fucking there's about 20 that get sent in every 10 seconds so this is definitely going to help the last thing, of course, is going to be Danger Close, which is equipped extra lethal and tactical thrown equipment. Just means you get an extra C4 on that. And that is the initial setup for the loadout that you're going to be doing for the first challenge. Now, when you actually go into this combined arms playlist, there's going to be two types of modes. You're going to get Assault and Domination. Domination means the spawns are going to change quite frequently. But if you end up getting Assault, which is the one where you have to capture the flags and it pushes the team back, the spawns are going to be set there, meaning, you know, you can keep going back to the exact same spot of their boat. Plant in the C4s early if you want to do that. You can plant the C4 on the armored boats, wait for someone to jump in them and detonate them like that. Or if you're doing more my style, when the game actually starts, everyone's in their boats, there's tons of people. You can end up going to the middle point of this map. More or less, nine times out of ten, someone's going to be in one of these armed boats. Just simply swim underneath it, plant one C4 under, detonate it. Doesn't matter if you die here because we really don't care. We just want that kill. And then as soon as you detonate the C4 and kill the person in it, it's going to sink the boat and that is going to count for the challenge. You're going to need to do this five times. You don't have to do this in one game, thankfully. You can do this across loads, so don't feel like you're under pressure to kill five people straight away. But I'm sure it's doable. And the last tip I'm really going to give you is just stay around in their area. I mean, you can even booby trap the jet skis if you really want to. Trying to catch someone on one of these, you know, midway through the water is going to be near enough impossible and no one's going to sit still in these. So just focus on the armed boats here. Do this five times. You're going to see the challenge pop up because you can't actually track it and you'll see it once you've completed it. And that's going to net you the underwater ops title, one of the multiplayer dark ops challenges. Now we're going to be moving on to the second challenge, which is called From the Depths. And I think this is actually a lot harder than the previous one. This one, you need to get 25 kills against enemies that are on land or ship's surface when you're shooting at them from underwater with a primary or a secondary weapon and believe me this is harder than what it sounds like i was thinking in my head this is not too bad now the tips that i'm going to give you with this is use your best weapon i'm talking something that's going to be really overpowered maybe you want to go with a sniper maybe you want to go with an assault rifle for me i was using the dmr 14 and for the body i was using this thing called an sov target designator and what this does is it reveals the names of people from a further distance like let's say you're aiming down sights you can see their name the issue you're going to have is when you're underwater and you have to be underwater you can't kill them on top of the surface you have to make sure you're underneath is that the water surface is literally going to blur your screen making it pretty hard i mean it can darken your screen it puts you off a lot when you're trying to aim at people so you've got two tactics on what you can do for this you can either kind of camp in a spot where you know people are going to be using the zip lines on armada and kind of zipping from there because like it said it said the boat surface is going to count so as long as they're on the boat or on land, this is going to count. The best thing that I'm going to tell you to do here is maybe pop your head above the surface, see the person, target them, go under the water a little bit, and then just get them like that. Hanging around objectives as well is going to help massively with this. The second workaround for this challenge is if you have the Sigma 2 launcher equipped and you go underneath the water and you lock onto boats and jet skis, this is going to count to killing someone because you're underneath the water technically. Even though the challenge doesn't say anything about 
being on a boat i mean it says being on a ship's surface but I'm, i thought it was more of the spawn boats i can confirm that killing people with rocket launchers underneath the water in the big boats counts i'm not too sure if it counts for the jet skis you can obviously test that but the annoying thing is again is that you can't see your progress with this challenge you're just gonna have to do it and after a certain amount of time you're gonna get it last thing to know is that i think weapons do less damage when you're actually underwater because i was using a sniper i was hitting someone which i definitely knew was that upper chest shot and it was not killing him one here it definitely can be a little bit of a struggle this one if you're finding it really hard to net the kills underneath the water just have that sigma rocket launcher equipped and just kill people on the boats whenever you got the chance to you know and then you're going to get this challenge done quicker than you think and then of course when you've done that and you've got the 25 kills it's going to pop up you're going to see the challenge completion and you're going to get from the depths this title here and that is just two of the dark ops challenges that you can do in multiplayer right now and i definitely think these are more of the easier ones to do i think there's a few others where you know you have to pick up a grenade and throw it back and you have to get five rapid kills so if you guys like the video and it's helped you a little bit of a guide make sure you leave a like on it and i want you to comment on what you think do you care about dark ops challenges would you like me to do more guides about this because i can go over the zombies one and the campaign ones and you know there's campaign zombies and the multiplayer ones unfortunately i've not got a new title yet because my lobbies are full of absolute sweats but maybe if i camp it out i'm sure i could probably get one but that's it for the video guys and i'll see you later